Welcome back to Let's Fan Fun. You already know where we're at. The one and only, the largest <laughs> McDonald's in the world. In the world. 19,000 square feet right behind us. It's the largest McDonald's by square footage, which is insane. It has pasta, pizza, an ice cream bar, arcade room. It has everything. Like an arcade floor, I yes. think. Yes. So we're going to eat first, get some pizza, and then explore. So let's go. Guys, oh, there's the pizza. So many toppings. Oh, pepperoni for sure. Onions, green peppers, tomatoes, olives, pineapple, jalapeno, mushroom, spinach. And I feel like I just want to do pepperoni. Ooh, pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese. Done. Let's look at the pasta, even though I don't feel like pasta right now. Okay. They have all kinds of toppings, similar to the pizza topping. Ooh, broccoli. Let's say I wanted broccoli. Ravioli, linguine, tortellini. Cava I don't even know how to say that one. Cavatappi. Okay, um, ravioli. Marinara, olive oil and garlic, bolognese, basil pesto, alfredo, jeez. I think it comes with a little piece of bread. Fancy. All day breakfast, you can get a Belgian waffle here and a ham and cheese French toast, which is like basically a Monte Cristo, so that's crazy. I almost feel like I need a waffle, not gonna lie. All right, so we ordered a pepperoni pizza. John got to make chicken. I got a Happy Meal and a vanilla cone. So I'm excited to see how the pizza is, but honestly, this stuff is a little expensive, so we didn't get too crazy because, I mean, it's McDonald's, but it was really cool that they had the breakfast all day. I feel like I would be interested in the ham and cheese French toast sandwich or the waffle, but both of them were like $7, and I'm not about that life right now, so we'll see what, how good what we got is. And it's kind of sad because it looks like a lot of the stuff is like closed down so like normally it would be really cool to see the dessert bar but i think with you know COVID and everything they're keeping it all over there okay so i feel like i'm like a little stressed there are a whole lot of people here who have no idea how to wear a mask so that's a little bit annoying but i think i'm gonna have to eat my ice cream first i probably should have waited to get it a little bit later but i feel like we need to show you the pizza like first and foremost are we ready okay doesn't look terrible she put it in like a little wood fire oven i think um john showed you that earlier I mean, the pepperonis are massive. Looks, you know what it really reminds me of? Like, I don't even know why. Kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese pizza. <laughs> like, that's the vibe I'm getting right now. So, let's do it. There's the back. Man, I've seen worse. So hot. I way too big of a bite. <laughs> so I took a, like a really big bite there, but that was the second bite. I didn't eat like the whole thing. <laughs> um, but I think it's pretty good. It's uh, really cheesy. The sauce isn't too like heavy. I really don't like pizza sauce very much. And it's like crispy crust, kind of like a thin crust. But um, I'm not sure if you saw like on the thing, but it was like 10 something, which I feel like is a little expensive, but honestly, it's a big pizza. And I mean, 
we both would get four pieces so i didn't realize that it was going to be that big so that's not terrible and i think it added a lot whenever i um added the pepperoni like at first it was like eight something and then i added the pepperoni and it was like 10 so two dollars for pepperoni but i mean i'd come back for this probably if we were in the area i love pizza pizza's probably like in the number one maybe the top like three so you know have some, some experience with pizza Corey showed you it so i'm just gonna go for the bite it is like dripping in grease it's it's a very floppy pizza like look at that yeah i kind of like a more stable crust but let's go so my immediate like thought that came to my mind that first bite was it reminds me of gas station pizza maybe something to do with the greases i'm not sure reminds me of the pizza that like just like spins at the gas station guess we're gonna go check out the arcade place is closed. Just our case open. Look at all this McDonald's swag. I like the little um, snow globe. And the pins. Look at that hamburger pin. Not gonna lie. I kind of love that. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, John. What the heck? He is scary. What does he sing? Like the tunes of McDonald's? I don't know, he's wearing jeans. And cowboy boots. Um, oh, look, oh. an alligator. Oh. All right, so there you have it. The world's largest McDonald's. Wasn't the best experience, wasn't the worst experience. I would recommend checking it out if you're in the area, but like, it's not a must do. But the reason why we came here is because I have a thing for McDonald's. I have a thing for unique McDonald's. Um, when we were in France, we went to McDonald's and bought all of the unique stuff for France. Did the same thing for Italy and the same thing for Morocco. So we just like unique things at McDonald's, I guess. Well, really he just sure. kind of like made it his mission to eat in a McDonald's in like every country that we visit if they have one because yep. they all offer like different things. And so it is really cool to see like what they have different at yeah. each one. So we, like he said, we tried the one, you know, in France and they have this like really cool bakery and honestly their macarons were delicious. And then in Rome, all I remember is the coffee. coffee. And, it, and the pastries. it was pretty good. And I think, yeah, croissants. Mm -hmm. And um, Morocco, I don't know, I guess we got their their special, like they had a sandwich that we don't have. Yeah. And then also I think we got like an ice cream. Yeah, I think they had a dipping sauce too that was different. A dipping sauce maybe. Yeah. yeah. So we were like, we have to go to the one here, here in Orlando, especially yeah. if it's the biggest. So it was worth the trip, I think. Um, it was only like 10 minutes from our apartment. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, I thought it was cool, I guess, whatever. Meh. Will we come back? Meh. Probably not. But it's worth it to cross it off of our bucket list, I guess. And share it with you. Yes, and share it with you guys. Um, so yeah, let us know. Have you been to a McDonald's in like another country or one that's like super unique? Like what's the craziest thing like that you've gotten from one? I feel like pizza is probably actually really high on the list even compared to some of the other countries that we've been to. Never thought you could get a pizza out of McDonald's. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks guys. Bye-bye. Apparently she doesn't care. She's done. <laughs>